Alright, so here I am drawing Muhammad. I started off with a generic sort of Neanderthal shape, you know, big uh, brow ridges, sort of a tall looking face, whereas Homo sapiens have uh, sort of scrunched up faces. I also, you know, no forehead because Neanderthal didn't have foreheads. There was no way to really make it look like he didn't have a chin from that angle or a backward sloping chin. Um, but overall, it's a generic Neanderthal impression, I think. It's not really an insult to say that they're Neanderthal. I mean, for one, Neanderthal was actually a pretty smart uh, species. In fact, perhaps even smarter than us in some ways. They figured out how to use glue to attach uh, stone uh, tools to wood before Homo sapiens did. Uh, so that's pretty intelligent. They weren't as intelligent socially. They couldn't form social groups as large as Homo sapiens. And they couldn't... Um, communicate between tribes, share information, and so forth. They couldn't, you know, unite under an ideology, which is one of the reasons why they went extinct. But Neanderthal was still a pretty smart species, and they live on today in Europeans um, and Asians and, yeah, the Mediterranean uh, people as well. In fact, on average, most people outside of Africa have about 2.5% Neanderthal DNA. Some people have up to 5% or more. Um, Aborigines have 6% Denisovan DNA, and many people from Europe, Asia, and the Mediterranean also have some Denisovan DNA mixed in there as well. So it's not really an insult to say that someone's a Neanderthal. It's kind of a fact you do have some Neanderthal in you, unless if you are from Africa. But the reason that we draw Muhammad is still fairly relevant. Freedom of speech, for an example, people are still trying to take that away. Here in the United States, that's never going to happen. We have a First Amendment, and the Supreme Court ruled that there is no hate speech exception to freedom of speech. Okay, okay. Um, but if you're in, say, Western Europe or Canada or pretty much any other OECD country or non-OECD country, um, you don't really have the same type of freedom of speech that we have in the States. Right? The rules in the Quran are just for Muslims and Muslims alone. They are not for those who don't follow the religion. Right? If you don't like people drawing Muhammad, then you don't draw Muhammad. Don't tell other people what to do. Freedom, bitch. This is how the West rolls. And that's the only real reason I'm drawing Muhammad. It's not for a hatred of the religion, although I do hate pretty much all religions. I think they're stupid. But if you want to believe them, fine, go ahead. Just don't expect me to respect them, because you can't force me to do so in countries like ours.